In today's video, I'm going to be discussing one of the biggest dilemmas that is, you know, currently spread throughout the world of wildlife photography. That is, do you use a tripod or do you shoot handheld? Um, you know, in today's world, um, we have cameras and lenses that are so good with such good image stabilization and that are so much lighter than they used to be that um, a lot of people are moving away from tripods. You know, used to all wildlife photographers shot on tripods basically at all times. Um, but with the equipment that we have today, a lot more people are moving towards handheld. And we're kind of in this transitional phase where many people want to shoot on a tripod still and I believe that it's still better to shoot on a tripod. And many people believe that we should be ditching tripods and shooting fully handheld. So the goal of this video is to discuss the pros and cons and kind of come to a conclusion at the end about, um, you know, what, what are my thoughts on tripods versus handheld. So first, let's talk about handheld and talk about the pros and cons of shooting handheld. Number one is that you are more mobile. This is the biggest thing with shooting handheld. You're more mobile, so you're able to get more diverse shots. You can be standing up and you can be shooting high up. Then if you wanna get a nice low perspective on the animal, you can easily get down to the ground. Um, if you're shooting you know, uh, an elk and it's on the move and it's running this way, um, you're gonna be able to shoot and then you're gonna be able to walk this way and shoot again and when it's in a new position. Whereas with the tripod, you're picking up this tripod, setting up the legs again, you know, all this different stuff. You're just way more mobile doing it handheld than you are with a tripod and you're gonna get more shots. I guarantee you that without a tripod, you're gonna get more shots um, from more different angles and uh, you know really have a diversity of angles and, and different shots and styles on one animal when you're shooting handheld as opposed to shooting on a tripod. Another benefit of, of handheld is that it's a lot more freeing, you know? You don't have to spend all the time setting up this tripod and, um, you know, you get out at a scene and there's already a bear in front of you, but instead of just jumping out and, and shooting handheld with a tripod, you're gonna have to set it all up and waste all this time. Handheld, you just jump out and you start shooting. You're not wasting time and you're not missing shots. If you're moving between locations, you don't have to, you know, set this whole tripod up and then tear it all down, then put it away in the car and then drive to the next location, take it all back out, set it back up. You don't have to do any of that. You just grab the camera, start shooting, and then put the camera back down in your car and move on when you're done. A lot more freeing in that way. And then uh, the last um, big pro for shooting handheld is pretty simple it's less expensive. You know, you don't have to purchase a tripod. Tripods can get very pricey, especially if you buy a really nice one, you know, you're going to be paying, you know, up into the thousands of dollars, um, at least a thousand. Um, and, and you know, not that there aren't good ones for, you know, a couple hundred dollars, but still it's pretty expensive. So you're saving money by not shooting on a tripod, um, and just shooting it all handheld. There are some cons to shooting handheld as well. Um, for one, it's more exhausting when you have these long, long days out in the field, it's a lot more exhausting to be having to hold this camera up all day long, especially when you know you have a big lens on there that's pretty decently heavy, lighter than the old lenses, which is why people are moving to handheld in the first place because this is lighter equipment now, but still heavy enough to where you're gonna get exhausted after a whole day of holding that lens up like this. Um, so that is is one con. You're definitely going to get exhausted more easily. Um, another one would be you're going to need a higher shutter speed because you don't have that stable plate that your your lens is sitting on and your camera is sitting on on the tripod. It's not doesn't have that stability beneath it. You're going to have to shoot at a higher shutter speed, which obviously also means higher ISO when you're shooting handheld. So that could be a problem as well. You know, if you have a camera that um, you know doesn't handle high ISO very well, then you might want to shoot on a tripod more because you can bring that shutter speed down more. Um, the next one is going to be uh, one that I really came to notice a lot this summer because I rarely shot on a tripod. You end up not really having anywhere to put your camera when you want to put it down. With the tripod, you can just attach it to the tripod and, and leave it there. But when you're shooting handheld, if you want to be ready to shoot as soon as the animal comes out, there's really nowhere to put it besides holding it. You know, um, like like for example, this summer there were times that we were you know. Um, at bear jams and we knew the bear was gonna come out, but it wasn't out yet um, And with the tripod I would have been able to just set up the tripod attach my camera Leave it there and not you know have a place to safely have my camera while I waited on the bear to come out um, And it would be perfectly ready there for me to shoot when the bear did come out My handheld I have to take the camera put it in the car or just hold it and then when I put it in the car if the bear comes out I have to run over there and get it out and then I'm wasting time and missing shots. So that's one that's kind of not as much about technical stuff. It's more just logistically, where do you put the camera when you don't have a tripod? There's nowhere to put it besides hold it. And then the last one, the last big con would be that it's very difficult to do video handheld and have nice fluid motion in that video, um, especially when you're shooting out telephoto and every little movement is taken into account by the camera. 
it's very difficult to get smooth video um, when you're shooting handheld. Um, so those are the cons and pros of handheld. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of shooting on a tripod. The very first pro is going to be that it requires less energy. You're able to set that camera up on the tripod, leave it there, and um, be able to just shoot and and you know take it into your hands when the wildlife comes out, um, which is obviously, like I said less exhaustive, less energy wasted, and you're gonna be less fatigued at the end of the day. Um, and this is, you know, can be very important when you're on those long days. You know, sometimes out in the field, I'll be shooting from 5 a.m. all the way to like 11 p.m. I'll be out there in the field all day long. And it's very exhaustive to be holding that camera up that whole time. But if you have a tripod, you don't get as exhausted or fatigued and you can stay on your toes for longer, be focused for longer, and uh, be more sure that you're gonna be focused as the shots come and be able to get those shots. So that's one big benefit of uh, shooting on a tripod. The next one is that uh, that's really the best way to get smooth, clean video. Shooting handheld is very difficult to do, but on a tripod, you know, you loosen up either your ball head or your gimbal, whatever it may be, and you can very easily pan that camera and smoothly get nice video of whatever you may be shooting, um, as opposed to, like I said, with handheld, it's going to be very difficult, especially shooting telephoto like we do for wildlife. So that's the other instance. Um, for video, I always recommend a tripod. Um, and then the final um, pro is going to be that it allows you to uh, kind of free your hands up when you're shooting. You know, if you have it on a tripod, and uh, you maybe wanna put a filter on your camera now, as opposed to trying to hold the camera on the lens and screw the filter on. If you have it on the tripod, it's very easy to do. Maybe you wanna go grab something, grab a snack while you're waiting on an animal to come out. You can go do that quickly and leave it on the tripod. Um, and then on the flip side, the cons of a tripod are basically the opposite of the pros that I've talked about for handheld. Um, you're less mobile, less easy to get a diversity of shots, and less easy to move around quickly. Um, you're gonna take more time setting up at a shoot, um, so that's probably gonna mean you're gonna miss shots. You know, if you just pulled up and there are deer out in the meadow, anyone who's shooting handheld is gonna be able to jump out and start shooting immediately. People with tripods are gonna take a minute setting up and that's a minute's worth of shots that you know you're gonna miss, you're just not gonna have. And uh, because of that, you can basically guarantee that when you're shooting on a tripod, you are going to miss shots that handheld shooters are going to get. That's the simple fact of it, which is definitely a big con. So um, those are really the pros and cons of both, in my opinion. And in the end, I think it comes down really to who you are, what your personal preference is, and what the scenario at hand is. So if you know you're able to, you know, hold this camera up all day and you can, you know, keep at this constantly, even when it gets exhaustive, then maybe you want to shoot handheld. Maybe if you have a hard time holding up these big lenses, especially for, you know, 12 hour days or something like that, then you might want a tripod. Save your energy and be able to stay on your toes longer and ensure that you're getting more shots. Again, it also depends on, it. are you shooting more video or are you shooting photos? For photos, handheld is oftentimes gonna be better. You're gonna be able to move around more, and get that more diverse array of photos. But if you're shooting video, you really need a tripod. You can't really shoot good video handheld. It's very difficult to do. Um, so it depends on that as well. And then it also depends on you know, what is the lighting situation? If it's really low light and um, you're gonna have to lower your shutter speed way down because of that to ensure that you also keep your ISO down and all that, you wanna be shooting on a tripod because it's gonna allow you to lower that shutter speed more and still get nice sharp shots. Um, if you've got all the light that you could possibly want, then maybe shoot handheld because you you know you don't have to worry about um, lowering your shutter speed a lot. So in conclusion, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're really in a transitional phase. We're not quite to where our gear is light enough and uh, has good enough image stabilization to where we can shoot totally handheld and get great photos all day and never get tired and get great smooth video. But we're also not in really a situation where our gear is so heavy that we're required to shoot on a tripod and be glued to that tripod and not be able to move around as much and um, you know not be able to get sharp photos unless we're on a tripod. We're not really in that phase either. We're moving into this newer era, but we're not quite there. We're really in a middle ground, a transition phase right now. And that's why I think it's best to be ready to do both, to be ready to shoot handheld, but to also have a tripod if the scenario calls for a tripod. And you just basically have to recognize the pros and cons of both the tripod and handheld and recognize when um, you should use each one and uh, which you know pros and cons are going to come into play depending on if you're using your tripod or if you're shooting handheld. So um, that's kind of my thoughts on this. Really just wanted to do kind of a discussion video. Um, this isn't really the typical wildlife photography video I do. You know, usually I talk about tips or uh, mistakes that you might make or anything like that to help improve your photography. 
This is more just my thoughts on this current issue in wildlife photography that there's a lot of debate over that, um, you know, I think would be a cool issue to discuss for the channel and uh, kind of get my thoughts on it and talk about. So that's what this video was. And um, those are my thoughts on tripod versus handheld. With that, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And most importantly, as always, subscribe to be entered for the 1000 subscriber Manatee Swim giveaway video. I mentioned this in a few videos now, but down in the description, um, I have a link to my website. Um, you can buy calendars there. So check that out down below. Got my gallery on there as well. So all that stuff is linked down below. And with that, guys, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.